Hey guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go take a look and see what's in the fridge today. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today's beer is a monster beer. This is, and it's even got the wax on the top of the bottle. It looks like something that ought to be stored for about 10 years and we're not going to do it here. And I only bought one because this is a very, very expensive beer. I'm thinking I paid well over $10 for this beer, so I'm not exactly sure. I mean, it is a very special beer. This is Cure, C-U-I-R. This is from the brewery. It is an unfiltered anniversary ale, Anno 2011. Uh, this comes in at 14.50% ABV. Wow, I usually don't like the beers when they get to that ABV because it's just, it's just alcohol on top of alcohol. So uh, this is bottle number 04019. So this is 4019, bottle 4019. So if you went from zero, they got a pretty good batch going there. What do you think? So, Anyway, uh, pretty impressive bottle, but it's a pretty impressive price tag to go with it. So, uh, I'll try to find a sticker when I'm sipping on this one in between the two recordings here. And so if I can find exactly what I did pay for this. So, uh, like I said, this is from the brewery in the Rava, Placentia, California. Uh, this is an old ale. That's the style. And like I said, 14.50, which is, it'll blow your head off. Drink this one at home, guys. I mean, I don't even think you could drink one of these and not catch a buzz. So, by the time I get to the end of this, I might be a little silly, a little sillier than usual. So, uh, and I'm, gonna, I'm not going to drink it all either because I'm going to share some of this. So, I don't even know if I can drink it all. It might, it might take two days to get this review going, guys. So, uh, it's a limited re release. Uh, I think they only did it once. So, uh, the food pairings for this are the cheeses of the buttery breed Gouda and the. Uh, uh, the beer is such a heavy beer, and it, I don't know what would go with it unless you, <laughs> unless you were, were eating something that has such a monstrous taste. It doesn't have a lot of uh, food pairings, but it's going to take a strong dish to go with a, almost a 15% beer. So, I mean, it's sort of like wine. I mean, you got to pair it accordingly, so it'd take a strong dish to go with this one. So, uh, probably no fish or anything like, like that unless it's... Uh, that you're having something that's got some really strong sauce going with it. Uh, the glassware for this, a pint glass, a becker, a stein, a mug, oversized wine, a snifter, a tulip. I got to do that glass. So, uh, that's what I'm going to use for these big beers, guys. And it's going to be selling for an extended period for 15%. Ah, it'll keep 10 years or more. So uh, It's a shame it's so expensive, and I understand why it is, but it's hard for somebody like me to grab two and review one and keep one back when there's just so many of them out there and they're getting some of them are rather pricey so I'm gonna cut the wax on this to reveal the cap guys that's some big wax too I don't even know if I got through it or not. I don't think I did. Well, I'm going to pause it here while I fight with this wax on his caps. Don't, I'm not a big fan of that. I hope the cap don't blow off. That's why they got the wax on there while I'm trying to get it off. I'll be right back. Alright guys. That was a major effort trying to get all that off, and I still got some out up underneath the cap there, so I hope I can get the cap off without it getting into the beer. I mean, that is such a thick wax coating on that. Not a big fan of this. Uh, this this is crap, as far as I'm concerned. They don't need to get into that. Put a cage and a cork on it if you're going to go to that extreme. And then put all this wax on there where you got to fight it. I got a big monster mess over here where I had to cut through all that stuff. Pretty thick stuff on there, too. 
I mean, it really must be a carbonated beer for them to have to do that, or that's just one of their signature things. So, not a big fan of that. I've had, uh, I've had uh, their beer before, not this one, and not been a big impression fan so far so I'm hoping this will change my opinion I'm trying to get all this wax off there so nothing I mean that's your really thick I mean you can see the sleeve there I mean and every bottle probably got a cap like that I mean a lot of time somebody spent a lot of time putting weights Wasting their time putting all that on there, so. Well, let me get the cap off this thing. See what we're going to end up with here, guys. I hope it don't explode out of there. It's not a gusher. That's a good thing. And this is bottle condition, so. It's going to have a lot of sediment once you get down to the bottom of the bottle. And like I said, I'm not going to drink all of this. This is a monster beer. My right, guys, looks pretty good in the glass. Expecting it looks like a uh, strong, it's an old ale. It looks like a strong, dark ale. And it's not quite, it's got a lot of, it's got a lot of uh, reddish, not quite to the ruby, but more of a brownish tint than a red ruby tint. Can't see what I can't see through the center of the glass, but I can see through around the outside of the glass. So uh, it looks darker here than it does on the light there. And I'm getting some light around the outside of the glass. So not a monster head. Didn't pour it really aggressive. I didn't want to get a monster head because I don't like a monster head. Got about I probably got about half a finger and it's reduced down to just barely covering the top of the beer there. So it looks pretty good in the glass. About what I expected it to be. So let's get a nose on this one. Well, I'm getting a lot of the, the, the normal big beer smells of the darker ales like the figs and the raisins and maybe some dates and some, uh, some darker fruit there, but I'm getting a lot of vanilla from the, the, the bourbon barrels. Get a little alcohol on there. I mean, it's 14 and a half, almost 15 percent. If you do, if you drink macro lagers, this is three beers, three beers in one. It smells a little like I'm getting a grape smell there too. I mean, it's just loaded with a lot of different flavors and aromas. Well, it smells very delicious, but I know it's going to blow my head off here with the taste. It's going to going to overwhelm my palate with being 15% so cheers guys wow that's got such a great taste though but the alcohol is there this is like a like a Belgian strong dark ale aged in oak barrels. Bourbon barrels. Oak bourbon barrels. Wow. Very tasty. Very, very, very tasty. But that's a big beer. Very special beer though. I mean, I, I'm impressed right now. A lot of vanilla and bourbon from the oak from this one. Wow. It's delicious. I'm impressed. I am impressed. This is a good one. This is a keeper. Probably going to be an A beer. I'm going to let it warm up. I'm going to sip on it. My hair is blowing away right now. Be right back. Alright guys, thanks for sticking around. Got just a little bit left in the glass. Monster beer. Very impressive. It's a killer beer. It is. It's awesome. From being in the bourbon barrel, oak barrels, you get the vanilla and all the dark fruits. 
it's awesome. It's awesome. Guys, I spinal chug. Probably a more than spinal chug. Just remember, this is a 15% beer. 14 and a half. So you might as well say it's 15%. This is like a brandy, or a fine, or a fine aged wine, or I mean, a brandy even. This beer will last almost forever if you uh, sell it correctly. Final job. Vanilla, the oak, all the dark fruits, fig, raisins, dates, plums. Wow. Monster beer, monster price to go with it. It's a 10. It's, it's absolutely a 10. Other than the price, which would bring it down to a 9, 9.5 because it is very, very expensive. This is a 22 to 25 dollar bottle of beer right here. This is like a this is like something you would buy to put away. You wouldn't buy this on Friday and say I'm gonna drink it Saturday night. I mean this or I'm gonna drink it when I get home. Nah. This is something that you'd want to put in the fridge and keep it for quite a while. And if it wouldn't be for the price of it, somebody like me would buy two of them and do one for y'all and then review it and put one away. But whew, that is a very expensive beer. Not a lot of people, including me, can afford forty to fifty dollars for two bottles of wine or two bottles of beer. Almost like a wine, two bottles of beer to go in the refrigerator, one to drink now and one to drink later. But technically, that's what I wish I could have done. So, guys, without fighting my gums anymore, this is a ten as far as I'm concerned. The price is the only deterrent of this. I mean, fifty percent. You don't have to have a date. It'll keep indefinitely. It's, it, it doesn't really matter. It's not a hop question there. It, it's a it's going to keep. And Ray Beer has a 98 overall and a 97 in the style, and Beer Advocate has an A minus. Uh, I'll add a damn plus to that. It's uh, pretty impressive. The cost is the biggest deterrent to this, guys. It is very, very expensive. So, unless you know somebody or, or got some rich friends that's going to buy this for you, pretty damn expensive, but it's a tasty brew. If you get it, put it away. Say that it's only gonna get better. It ain't gonna get bad. It won't get worse. So guys, as always, rate, comment, subscribe, and we'll back tomorrow. We're gonna look at the fridge. See what's in there then. Hope you enjoying us. See you then.